rest, you must be prepared to proceed. One expects that when one applies for a warrant of arrest in a matter that has been investigated for a prolonged period, the state and the investigation team should have their house in order. This was the argument of Advocate Annaline van der Irven, counsel for Prophet Bushiri to the court to proceed with the case because the state was not prepared to proceed with the case. For Prophet Shepherd Bushiri and his large army of followers, this will be frustrating considering the fact that the couple have been remanded in police custody until Friday when the case will be heard. This is, this is South Africa. We've seen, um, you know, uh, prominent people being dragged back and forth the courts. It's not a first time, it's not a new thing, um, you know, and also they, they, they've, they've gone through two years already. This is why we are now, as a church, pushing for justice because justice delayed is justice denied. I think the biggest question is, do the courts think they have a case? Because, um, you know, this matter has been dragged and forth. Um, we hear that new charges, etc., etc., etc. So it's, it's, not, it's not necessarily what I think, but is there a case? If there's a case, give justice to the prophets. You know, if, if, if there's a case, try them or, or, or put them through the, the justice system. And, uh, you know, because uh, we, we strongly believe that the dragging now is just um, a denial of justice. If really there's a case, then the right thing should be done. I don't know what I must say, but I express my feeling what uh, 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 they are doing upon our spiritual father, our spiritual parent actually, our mother and our father. Because I was so surprised the law of South Africa, I'm in South African anyway, so I'm so surprised if the law of South Africa doesn't do things according to the right way. Because uh, our father last week on Friday, he was on court. So all of a sudden they arrest him for the same thing that they're supposed to add those on the same, uh, same charge that they put on him. But now they arrest them, they, they, they just uh, take down their dignity, they embarrass them. As um, to be honest with you, if you, it's not about color. I've been with the Prophet since 2014. I started the church with him. And I can tell you, do you think, honestly, if he is stealing money from the church and from people, he would have so many followers? Yeah. All I can say about this man of God, he's a true man of God. I've seen him work. I have seen him change. Miracle and miracles happening in this church is unbelievable. But I can tell you, this man is a sincere, honest man. He loves his family. He loves his church. He has treated me as one of his own. 
He's treated my family as one of his own, and I stand with him till the end. I will stand with him. It's not about white, black, colored, or whatever. It's about the truth. And this man of God is an honest, sincere man of God, whom we will stand by till the end because he is innocent. And if you check all his followers around the world, would they stand by him if he was stealing their money in all honesty? And I say it again for the last time, this man of God and his wife are dedicated children of God to help us as his family, as his church. And in all the years I've been here, I have seen nothing but positive miracles, signs and wonders, and I will stand with him until the end. Council for Prophet Bushiri Terence Baloyi explains the state was dragging its feet over the matter, suggesting that a case had no proof against the prophet and his wife, hence their inability to proceed. We came here with the hope and anticipation that the bail will proceed or will have to do what we call a formal bail application. Uh, people should know or become aware that this is what we call a Schedule 5 offense. It's become Schedule 5 simple because there's a case that is pending already. Therefore, it becomes a Schedule 5 offense or charge in which now for our parents to be released, a formal Bible application in the form of Avid David has to be followed. So we are at that stage now. However, it's unfortunate that the state again came saying that they are not ready to proceed with bail application. They are claiming or alleging a number of things which among others uh, should not or cannot stand. Otherwise, I'm not going to give my opinion on that except just to give an overview of what's happening. We are, are avail whatever information they need to say this is what it is, this is all we have. To the extent that we all our intuition was to show that there's no merit in what they seek to investigate further. It's something which they have, they've been having since 2019. So for them to come to say it and say it today they don't have, it's just unfortunate. The couple were denied bail and will appear on Friday.